Developing news now, state police are commenting on surveillance video released today as part of a jail cell confrontation involving a state trooper. It's a case we've been tracking for years, which led to the trooper pleading no contest to assault and a pair of lawsuits, one of them from the trooper against the state. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau joins us now live from state police headquarters in Situate. State police releasing two videos today. First, a 19 minute clip from a back and forth between Trooper Donnelly Taylor and Lionel Monsanto during the booking process, then a shorter clip from the jail cell assault. That's what to. Trooper Donnelly Taylor's attorney claims that when Lionel Monsanto turns to the trooper right here, he also throws an elbow that connects with the trooper and makes the following eight punches justifiable. Colonel James Manny would not say whether or not he considers Monsanto's movement an elbow that connected, but pointed out Donnelly Taylor pleaded no contest to simple assault. Colonel Manny says any trooper who commits an unjustifiable, on duty assault while he's in charge will be terminated. But as far as the decision not to terminate Donnelly Taylor, I can't second guess what a previous superintendent did. He was presented a certain series of facts under that circumstance, and he made a decision based on those facts. We're weighing all the legal and administrative options with legal counsel as to the future employment of Trooper Donald Taylor. That's really all I can say on that. I wish I could say more, but I can't. I have to emphasize again that this behavior is not condoned by the men and women of the Rhode State Police and doesn't reflect on the standards of training that we have. Donnelly Taylor's attorney, John Martin, tells us the trooper has been unfairly portrayed in the media and, and that expert witnesses concluded, quote, it was reasonable for Donnelly Taylor to perceive an immediate threat to his safety and deliver closed fist strikes to the suspects to protect himself. We'll have more on this tonight on Eyewitness News. For now, we're live in Situate, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.